Without any further ado, you've heard it several times tonight. That's great. And I'm going to say it one thank more you, time. Thank you. The Father of the Bride. Father of the Bride. Father of the Bride. Okay. 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 Cut out. Now, uh, before I roast Alyssa and J I mean, before I toast Alyssa and Josh, I would like to take the opportunity to thank several people. If you give me a moment, before before toast. First off, what about this beautiful place? I really want to thank Todd and Holly Kerr a good Mary Immaculate Jesuit Urson family who are the owners and really helped Linda and I out. And their uh, fabulous staff, Eric and Aaron, who've been running around doing crazy stuff, uh, and they're great to work with. So if you need an event, this is a sales pitch, this is the place to come. Uh, next, I want to thank everybody for making an effort to come here tonight, especially those that traveled uh, to celebrate with us, and especially on a holiday weekend. Uh, Alyssa and Josh, we have people here from one coast to the other. Uh, the states, uh, we have Florida and we have New York, and I put those together for a reason. We have Washington, D.C., Kentucky, Missouri, Wisconsin, California, and all the way from Paris, Texas. We have, we have Linda's family. And many of Josh's family traveled from South Texas. We even, Josh and Melissa, we even have my nephew's in-laws from Ukraine. <laughs> Katya and Sasha, Ukraine, to be with you. Uh, speaking of Chris and Ellery, uh, want, Linda and I want to thank you for putting on a fabulous rehearsal dinner last night. It was beautiful. Thank you very much. Okay, okay, I have five more special people to thank who had a significant impact on Alyssa and her becoming the beautiful bride that she is today. First is my mother-in-law, Helen. Now, I have a special relationship with Helen. I'm going to get to you guys, trust me. I have a special relationship with Helen. And Linda likes to describe it this way. <laughs> you millennials out there, ask your parents who Eddie Haskell is, OK? All you, if you don't know who this guy is, ask your parents. But seriously, Alyssa inherited Helen's gift and love of art and her artistic talent. Thank you, Helen, uh, and we love you. Where, Helen's somewhere over here. Good. Helen, we love you. I would, I would be remiss if I didn't mention JC, who's smiling down tonight, not just because Alyssa's married, but because she married an Aggie. Can I get, on a count of three for JC, can I get a whoop? One, two, three. Second very important person I want to thank that had an impact on Alyssa is my mother, Nancy. Uh, Nancy has shown Alyssa a love of travel, adventure, and wonderlust. And Alyssa loves how Grandma gives her hand-down clothes, shoes, and purses. <laughs> we love you, Mom. Thank you. Okay, number three of five, who had a very special uh, impact on Alyssa's life. The third is the patriarch of the Strong family, my father, Ace. Now, I am shocked that my father has anything, and I'm talking about anything left to his name after my wedding. You see, all my friends are sitting over there, always had always had their, uh, we're always reaching into dad's pockets. <laughs> now, I have a very special, oh, we're getting to y'all, trust, trust me. I have a very special and unique relationship with my father. 
And it's very hard to describe. There's a lot of people in here that don't know him. So to best describe this, I, I just want to show you a 20 second video clip that really captures the essence of my relationship with my father. But seriously, I'm, I'm serious about this. I could never, ever repay my dad for what he has done for Alyssa. I love you, Dad. <laughs> Number four of the five special people is actually two people, okay? And that's Lindsay and Alexis. Get your butt up here. Mm -hmm. I'm getting to you. I'm getting to you. Mm -hmm. uh, Alyssa and Alexis have put up with so much during this planning process. Uh, and myself, growing up with five brothers, five, uh, four brothers, five <laughs> sons, I had no idea about sister relationships. <laughs> but these three girls, these three daughters, Linda and I, they love more deeply, and they fight like cage fighters, and they can change their moods faster than they can change clothes. And you want to know what? I wouldn't have it any other way. Now, I'm actually going to go off script a little bit and insist, I'm putting you on the spot, insist that you all say a few words. Here's Alexis. Oh, okay. Thank you. Uh, was not expecting this. Uh, so I get, well, actually, let's give uh, my dad and mom a big round of applause for getting on this together and making it a, a perfect night for Alexis. Um, and I'll give it back to you. <laughs> well, I'll try and keep this as short and sweet as possible, but. Melissa, I just want to say, you being the oldest, me and Lindsay look up to you so much. You're the most selfish person that we know, and so it's just as fitting that you marry someone just as generous and caring as you are. So Josh, welcome to the family! The last thank you that I will give before I get to Alyssa Josh, I'm, trust me, I'm going to get to you guys, is Linda. Linda has planned almost every aspect of this wedding stress-free. Just... Now, when Alyssa was growing up, every single day, Linda would dress her in the perfect outfits and pull her hair back so tight, Alyssa couldn't open her frickin' eyes. And when Linda traveled, if she traveled, I had to do the same thing and send her a picture and say, I got her hair as tight as I could. <laughs> Linda, we don't say it enough, but we appreciate what you do. And I love you. <laughs> Finally, I'm done with the thank yous, okay? I can do a, an honest toast. Uh, to Alyssa and Josh. First, to Josh. I have enjoyed getting to know Josh, and I can tell you, I have always wanted a son. I live with a wife, three daughters, a female dog, two female cats. I have always wanted you know, someone, a son, 
to go outside and throw the baseball with. <laughs> right? I mean, come on. I'm just not asking too much. And it wasn't meant to be. But as I've come to know Josh, he's not really the outdoor athletic type. <laughs> but there are some male traditions in our house that I would love to pass on to Josh. Absolutely love to. Changing flat tires, cleaning up the gutters and the pool, and picking up after Dakota. But seriously, the absolute best thing I can say about Josh is this. He makes Alyssa happy. And that's all that matters. Finally, I get to talk about my little Ashisha. At a time like this, I can't help but think about the milestones in your life. Uh, getting engaged, graduating from college, graduating from Ursuline, your involvement in theater, rangerettes and driving you to 6 a.m. practices every morning, uh, graduation from eighth grade and confirmation, uh, and your first day of school, an Indian princess. Confirmation or uh, First Communion. Can you tell I'm getting off script here? Your first day of school. But the sweetest thing to me, the most memorable times, was when you were young. From the day you were born to about the time that you started school, you were the cutest little girl a father could hope for. So with that in mind, I have a simple toast for Alyssa. I have a simple toast to my most favorite firstborn daughter. <laughs> and this toast not only goes out to Alyssa, but to Josh. As a matter of fact, this toast goes out to everyone here tonight. So with a little visual help, I invite you to raise your glass and my wish for everybody here tonight is that you stay forever young.